Hello, I'm Richard Daring. Thanks so much for watching and or listening to my podcast. Hopefully if you're watching them, you're also listening to them as well. Otherwise it's just you're watching a strange man shouting stuff at a celebrity without the sound on. But uh, these podcasts are free and I will continue to put them out for free. I think it's very important that those who can't pay, can't afford to pay or just don't even want to pay still get to enjoy this stuff. Uh, but it would be lovely in an ideal world if the people who can afford to pay could finance this stuff. It does cost a little bit to put these out. Um, I can keep doing Kickstarters. We can keep do- raising money uh, by selling stuff. Merch on the website. Go to gofasterstripe.com slash aotoma if you want to see some of the stuff available at the moment. But um, it would really be nice to just get you know, a percentage of the listeners to pay a tiny amount of money and then that fund everything, the kind of amount of money that you're not going to miss, hopefully. And if you are going to miss it, please do not give me your money. Um, <coughs> and then we will um, be able to carry on putting out what we're putting out and hopefully put out even more stuff. Uh, it's going quite well. We have a badge system and it does raise a certain amount of money. But it would be 150,000 people listening to these podcasts. So even if just one in three of you felt you could uh, spare us a pound a month, then, yeah, we could start doing some pretty uh, amazing stuff. So, uh I, I just want to take you through what's going on. This isn't begging. You don't have to give any money. Uh, I'm very happy for you to carry on watching and listening for free. Um, so if you go to gofasterstripe.com slash badges, you can see all the various badge options. You can, if you want, just make a donation. If you think you've listened to 135 Rahalastapas, Rahalastapas, uh, and they, that was worth one pound, then you can just go and pay a pound uh, for that or any amount you want. You don't even have to get a badge in return or you can pay a certain amount and get a badge or preferably you could give us some money monthly. Uh, if you think the podcasts are worth 33p each roughly and that's just the Leicester Square ones, there's obviously lots of other stuff coming out every year as well, um, then a pound a month, that's all that would, that's that's what it would cost. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of an equivalent thing that costs 33p. Um, nothing anymore. So uh, a Freddo bar. You could buy a Freddo bar a month instead uh, and give your money to Ian Cadbury. Um, but what you do, if you pay monthly, you you get various different things. First, you can pay a pound a month. You get a badge that looks like this. Um, or you can pay five pounds or more a month and you get a badge that looks like this. Look, it's gold. You're better than those other people. Uh, thirdly, you can buy a badge like this that costs £10 a month. You'd have to be insane, but luckily a few of you are insane. Uh, but that rarity of that badge, there's so few of them out there. Um, and they are literally a badge of honour. You can wear them and identify other nerds who work in IT because there's no other way of identifying those people out in the street. If you see someone wearing that badge, you've got an immediate bond. Uh, I'm sure if you go into a shop and there's a Rahula Stupper fan serving behind the counter, they'll probably give you free stuff. It'll pay for itself eventually. But also, um, if I see you wearing the badge, you come up and talk to me, especially if you're wearing one of the, the gold or the platinum badges, then I am forced to talk to you whatever situation I'm in. Like when I was having a big argument with my wife in a pub uh, last year, uh, maybe two years ago, and a man came up to tell me how much he liked my Metro comms. In, I, I told him he had to go away because I was arguing. But if he had a badge on, I'd have had to break off the argument and say, excuse me, darling, I will. I, I know this is a very important issue, but this man has paid a pound a month <laughs> to me and has and he's owed 30 seconds of conversation as a result. So uh, you'll have my gratitude. You'll have a little secret club you're a member of that most people won't understand what's going on. You'll be a monthly badger. That's very exciting. But I want to make sure that just that money itself is is worth it even if you weren't watching any of the podcasts that you were paying for. So um, here's lots of the other stuff you can get. There's a secret channel that people who are monthly badge subscribers can access. Uh, it's got an impossible to crack password, so don't even try. And um, that has backstage interviews with all the guests we have on. We do a five-minute chat with them at least backstage before the show, sometimes after the show, but usually before. Uh, that means there's about three hours of material every year extra just from those backstage interviews, but we, we put some other stuff on there as well. Hey, let's have a look at some of those backstage interviews, some little clips to show you the kind of thing I'm talking about. They're good. This is how Netflix do all their big budget production. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> really easy to make stuff now. So, yeah, so I, I asked, I've got lots of emergency questions that I have ready for my own emergency when I f- think, can't think of anything to say, really. I, well, I interview people all the time. Yeah. I always ask people, have you ever fallen downstairs drunk? That's quite good. Have you ever pooed into a bag? That's quite you good. You get more people saying yes to that than you think. <laughs> it's actually quite, many people who go to festivals. Yeah. You... 
<laughs> so anyway, I'm backstage with Tony Robinson. Sir Tony Robinson. Yeah. Do you, do you insist on the Sir Tony? Absolutely. <laughs> every time. Every time my name is mentioned. And, and just a little. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk more about that on stage. But uh, What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? <laughs> no one will see this. <laughs> um, it's possibly, you know, I don't know what went on in the early days. I of, have had a history. Have now. you? Yeah. Are we rolling? We are rolling. We're backstage with Sarah Millican. Hello. How are you doing? You're on the spaffy sofa we were just discussing. <laughs> yeah, I did not this, make the spaffy sofa. This A couple of people have told me recently this pulls out into a sofa bed. Oh, uh, what is it? If that's what it's like on the bit that you can yeah. see. What is it like on the inside of This bit? is look, genuinely, look at this, Craig. It looks exactly like it. There's the balls and there's the penis and it's got like the little... You know, the the meatus at the a, top. A bloke would do yeah. is to draw a cock in jizz. In his own it? jizz. Yeah. 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 Sign your autograph. That's what uh, I do. Uh, uh, you know, if any girl was lucky enough to sleep with me. Yes. You've got quite a long surname. Are you doing it in Spanish? Does it just come out like dust at your age? Yeah, it does. Well, now. Well, you know, luckily, I've been in a relationship for a long time. So, you know, that's there. And my wife do, is not interested in, uh, in, in me signing my autograph. In <laughs> yeah. She doesn't need, she doesn't need she to She just signature. wants it to make a child with. That's all she wants. She wants every sperm. Bang, bang, bang. All of it. Yeah. And how many? You must have loads of kids, then. Yeah, you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so as well as that channel, you will be put on a special email list and you'll get emails with special offers for tickets. And also you'll be warned in advance of when the big name guests are coming on Rahalaspa, Rahalaspa. Um You will find out before anyone else so you can get your tickets in quick for those celebrities that do sell out straight away. Uh, and uh, occasionally I email other little, little bits and bobs out with that as well. Uh, if you are a monthly badger and you haven't got those emails, just check your junk folder because they're in there. Um, <coughs> and um, there's a, I've got an email. <laughs> there, cool. uh, and um, remember, all the money from this that you're giving just goes into making more podcasts. So it's a kind of it is a win-win situation. It's not about us making money. If we made a hundred thousand pounds a year doing this, we would just make a hundred thousand pounds worth of podcasts. If we made a hundred thousand pounds a month doing this we would make some feature films and sitcoms and stuff. I mean, it would be amazing. So if you like this stuff and you think it's... And that would be nice, just that macro, micro, uh, economics, whatever it's called. I can't even say either of those two words. Um, that will all, you know, you giving a tiny amount of money can hopefully create a lot of stuff that can be enjoyed by you and by people who can't pay or are too mean to pay or just don't think they have to pay because it's on the internet. All understandable positions but also there is a monthly prize draw uh, which once you're uh, once you're signed up you'll be entered in every single prize draw that comes up you get an entry for every pound a month you donate um, and I like to kind of send out a mixture of junk and exciting fan prizes and things that might be worth a bit of money so uh, I'm just going to show you what's in the it, it, like it's, often it's things that people have just sent me that I don't want in the post or just that I've already consumed uh, so uh, you uh, I mean, not food and stuff, I'm not sick. But um, uh, I'll, I'll just, I'm going to take you through what's in the box that I'm sending out now uh, for this month's prize winner. Uh, you can't win this stuff, someone's already won it. So look, there's a tin, a Vocal Zone tin. Vocal Zone have been very nice in sponsoring a few podcasts. Uh, they're a throat suite. There aren't any throat suites in there, but you can keep your throat suites in there if you can work out how to open it. It's quite complicated. So that's in there. Uh, there's a signed sun cream armpit badge, and there aren't many of those in existence that are signed, and that's... I just sold the last one of those at a gig yesterday, so you can't get those anymore. Uh, you get loads of stuff like, are we chuck in like the Kickstarter DVDs? You can get this at gofasterstripe.com slash aotomo. If you want to buy it yourself, you can buy this and the other one. Are just I think it's £10 for both, so we're just getting rid of the surplus that we had at the end of that Kickstarter, those two Kickstarters. That's the other one. That's the aotomo one. Um, so there's hours and hours of uh, fun on those. There's uh, signed leaflets for all my shows. Sign programs for all my shows, all the ones that still uh, that I still have programs for. Oops, so much stuff on the top of the floor. There's a free uh, ten CD, two and a half hours of my best stand-up material, my personal favourites. Uh, you can get that at Go Fast Stripe as well. There's a Christ on a bike care program. This is nice. Look, there aren't many of these in existence. I think you might still be able to get these at the Go Fast Stripe store. It's a Cumpkin Instructions tea towel that we have very few left over from the Kickstarter. Uh, one man's wife was so angry when this arrived that she threw it in the bin and emailed me to tell me how sexist it was. But I didn't make up the definition of uh, a pumpkin. And I don't think it is. It's only sexist in that men aren't allowed to have the pumpkin on their head. 
That's not my fault. I didn't make the rules. Uh, there's a, a signed Hermione hand. That's my hand. It's exactly the same size as uh, Hermione's. This is in gold, and there's never been one in gold before. So I, you know, if you go on uh, eBay with that, you can probably make 20 or 30 pounds. There's a signed copy of Tony Robinson's book. Admittedly, it's signed by me, but then again, that is rarity value. Uh, this is nice. This is the uh, Railways in the Holocaust magazine that I've been using on tour and been using the, the last few times. I guess uh, we're all going to die because it's a bit raggedy and also the first few times of the best. I've got another one, so I'm, I'm retiring this one. That's signed. I think I've signed one other one of those maybe before. So again, eBay. eBay that, my friends. Uh, every month I make a individual handmade T-shirt. Uh, that you you know you might want to wear, but you might think no, I won't wear it. It says I find Harry Potter trivia suit slightly disappointing. Rahalastaper, Uh I am forty nine years old, and I made that myself. But some of them have pictures on. Uh, there's like a signed poster of We're All Gonna Die. This is lovely. This I mean, there's so many things. In, um, you know, they're not every month is going to have these exact same prizes, but. Um, this is a picture of the Oxford Review, 1988. In fact, the cast that did the preview, because Katie uh, didn't wasn't in the Edinburgh version for various reasons. There's TV's Emma Kennedy. There's Ben Moore, Ben Pope. That's me as a young, tiny young man, 30 years ago. Uh, again, I don't. I'm not sure there's many of those out in existence. So uh, that's quite nice. Some uh, promotional stuff from uh, Lord of the Dance set tea that would cost lots of money and did no good. Uh, and uh, this is nice. And this is one of the, my cards that I read from in A. Ottima with a bit of script. And this is one of the scripts from the new series of A. Ottima. You can pause that and see what I've, how that's episode five. So you're going to get that in advance. Uh, A. Ottima will show, hopefully be out in May. Uh, and then there's other sort of little bits and pieces of. Uh, I'm, I'm moving house, so I'm trying to get rid of all these CDs. I've got a massive box of CDs, but I don't use them anymore, obviously. Uh, so look at the eclectic taste. I've got Stereophonics. don't like them. Keen. Why have I got that? I've got the White Stripes. That's quite good. I've got uh, James Taylor. I've got Sir Jan Stevens. Suff Jan Stevens. Don't even know how to say it. Uh, I've got uh, Bird Packerack and Eminem. It's an eclectic taste in music I've got. I don't really like music as that probably uh, shows you. Uh, and then I did a gig for uh, Sex Appeal. That was an adult education. An education thing for... Um, Sex education thing for, uh, for students, uh, and they gave me a big box of sex toys that I don't really want. So these are unused things. This is some um, pleasure balm. Uh, this is some this is some hot massage rocks. I mean that's not not even that set. That's quite I might keep that. That's quite nice. Uh, but uh, so that's the kind of stuff you get. So you get a big box of stuff, nice things to keep, nice things to sell, uh, nice things to re-gift to your grandma. Hot massage rocks, Grandma. Come on, that's free, uh, <coughs> and that will be posted out once a month. So that, that's all I want to do. I just want to tell you uh, and unbox and do one of these. You, this is like YouTube. This is what they, the kids do on YouTube, right? Um, but uh, we are back with more Rahelas per Rahelapas in June. You can also contribute just by buying a ticket to see the show. Go to the Leicester Square Theatre dot com website. Uh, you can give me some money back by going to Go Faster Stripe. And buying what's one of my DVDs or books, you can go, you can also um, come and see me on tour, richterring.com slash gigs, uh, or you know, just send me some money in the post, or just have, give it to me in my hand in the streets. Like sometimes people give me a pound, like I'm a kind of strange homeless vagabond who has a home. Um, but look, uh, I really appreciate you watching this, and uh, just thought you might like to see the things on offer, but go to gofasterstripe.com slash badges and you can make a decision whether you want to help fund our future endeavours. Um, seems like a nice idea to me. If you've enjoyed all these things and have never given anything, then have a think about it. If you've given before, please don't feel under any pressure. Really, if everyone gave a tiny amount, we'd be fine. Uh, and they won't do though, so, you know, it's up to you because you're a good person to help us out. We'll keep doing them, whatever, you know, but we'll just be able to do them quicker and easier. And maybe with that Kickstarter campaigns, that's my, that's the dream. Anyway, thanks for watching this. I know it's gone on and li or listening to it. If you're listening to it, I'll watch again, listening to it. If you're watching, it. let's face it. We'll, I will see you very soon. There's more Rahamols coming out, uh, the interviews from that, uh, to fill this gaping void between the series of Rich Hang's Leicester Square Theatre podcast. Thanks to everyone at Go Faster Stripe, especially Chris Evans, not that one, 
for making all this wonderful stuff a reality and hopefully see you in May with As It Occurs To Me as well. How exciting.